2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. An aerial view of downtown Boston, our location tonight, gives you a great idea of the beauty of this historic city. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talented analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. DA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs, so I started making a joke. I'm a stretch six. Forget a stretch five. My teammates loved it, and it just stuck with me. He added, I'm the youngest of four boys, so I've been up against bigger guys. For me, that means nothing. Kevin? <laughs> stretch six. I love that. Great stuff, David. Thank you. And making our way toward the finish line, this is a great time to check out the new power rankings. They're holding tight, still looking for ways to move up. And when you look at Utah, they're in a position that many teams would kill for. But that's not good enough for this proud franchise that they expect to be in first place. And checking out Utah's opening lineup. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Bogdanovich out there with Gobert. And it's O'Neal in at the three spot. And for Boston. Backcourt guard set is Smart and Richardson. Bradley is out there with Horford. And it's Tatum in at the three, the small forward. And Greg, as the playoffs loom in the distance, for those teams who have overachieved in the regular season, how do they ensure that their success continues in the postseason? Well, listen, the skeptics will remain. And you've got to understand the playoffs are a different animal. You have to be resilient and adaptable. And when that adversity hits, that's when your focus has to rise. Now, here's Bradley. It's stolen by Gobert. And that one, good. Really? And not the same skinny guy he was when he entered the league. Gobert, a lot less affected by contact these days. Here's Smart. Bradley kicks to Richardson. Pass to Tatum. Over O'Neal. Almost, but it rolls out. Tatum against Bogdanovich. Out left to the wing. O'Neal passes to Gobert. Shoots over Bradley. Gobert can't hit. Here's Boston now. And here's Tatum for three. Sinks the triple. Uh, this young man has worked on his form. Tatum was a decent outside shooter in college, but lethal here as a pro. Here's Smart. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's Mitchell. He seems to always find a way to rack up points, currently averaging 24 points a game. It's so tricky there with the floater. Mitchell, aware of when he should try his luck shooting that shot. Here's Smart, following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Bradley finds Richardson. Horford with it. Horford double team. Five on the clock. Here's Richardson. Lays it up off the glass. Richardson has the toughness in grid of Richardson. Absorbing a lot of contact and powering through it. The Jazz have gone two or three here to start off the game. Pass to O'Neal. Back to Conley. Hands the 12 footer. On the mid range game of Conley. Terrific at being assertive and, and, and on the attack from there. Smart deciding where to go with it. And the pass to Brandt. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. They've come out with guns blazing. Four for five from the field. They've got the deep reel. Conley dishes to O'Neal. Mitchell with it, and it's Richardson picking him up. Over to the left wing. Six to shoot. Conley with the three. 
Rebounded by the Celtics. They come into this one following a loss to the Thunder. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them. I mean, I, I flat out, I mean, I, I thought they looked overmatched. I mean, I, I thought they lacked aggressiveness and hard out there. Here's Tatum. Michael Conley making his last shot. Bounce pass from Tatum. Bradley kicks to Smart. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Michael Conley picks one up. And what impressed me about Smart last year, and we're seeing it this year as well, his patience and precision as a playmaker. Shooting two. And that one falls for Smart. And the assist total show how far Smart has come. Averaging around three dimes a year at the start of his career. He's now doubling that effort when given the minutes. Good sign for him and this team. Both shots good from the strike. At six foot four, 220 pounds, Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. Now, here's Mitchell. He's coming off a 25 point game against Brooklyn. And it's out of bounds, as touched by Mitchell. That's just a needless giveaway. You gotta make the defense work for their turnovers. Celtics leading by three. Passes to Bradley. Now, here's Smart. Pass to Horford from downtown. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. Last outing for Utah, it was a loss to the Nets. Yeah, lots of sloppy play in that one. Several key miscues. They, they just couldn't overcome the mistakes. I mean, they were their worst own enemy in that game. And they kept on shooting themselves in the foot. first. Personal foul. First team foul. Here's Bogdanovich. No points in the game yet for him. Conley finds Mitchell. Over Richardson. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. And he drives in. So it's Richardson with the jam. Right there, you see Richardson's size and length at the rim possesses great physical tools. Conley against Smart. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. by Smart. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Five to shoot. They need this. But when you were drafted and developed by the Heat like Richardson, I mean, the first thing they teach you is how to defend. Outside Brantley. Conley against Smart. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Uh, I, I like Smart using his size advantage on the interior. Nice work out there. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for Boston. They're showing a lot of energy in the open court here in the first half, pushing it every chance they get and racking up those points on the break. Yeah, and one thing, Clark, I've noticed is how quick their hands have been tonight. Thanks to that, they've gotten a lot of points off of Turner. And he makes the first. Williams, he's checked in for Boston. And 
And so Smart nails both of them. Jazz trail by 10. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Gobert. From the right block, the shot is good. Gobert, right through the contact. Gobert's added so much strength since being drafted back in 2013. It's helped all facets of his yeah, game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That'll be his second, second foul of the game. Foul. And Utah Third making a change foul. here. McLaughlin's checked Coming in. Coming onto the floor for the Jazz. Jordan. And now McLaughlin. another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And sharp instincts on D there. Just timing when to rise up and swat that one away. Utah's on defense. Trailing here by eight. Outside, smart. Pass to Richardson. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. That one misses. And Utah the other way now. Last time they met was in Utah. Yeah, and they picked up the win in their last game against this club, and really it was a parade to the free throw line. Well, it tells you a lot about who was the more aggressive team. I mean, they should have that same exact attitude tonight. Now Bogdanovich following the three-point attempt by Josh Richardson. Here's Smart. Off target from three-point range. Jazz trail by eight. Mitchell looking it over. Let's it go from 11, and he hits the jump shot. And that's Mitchell at his best, playing the quarterback on this offense and leaving the D, grabbing for air. Bogdanovich against Smart. Richardson outside, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Bill Celtics ball. The Celtics making a switch here. Williams has checked in. Utah also making some changes. Rudy Gay's checked in for Rudy Gobert. And it's Joe Ingles in for O'Neal. Shot clock at six. Outside, smart. Boston, no good that time either. And so it's Ingles with it. He brings it up for the Jazz. Six-point game. And that Rudy one's Gay. good by Gay. Assisted and they're beginning by. to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Deflects the pass. Here's Williams. Makes it off the glass. And the Celtics lead by six. You know, when Williams gets positioned inside, he just looks to dominate physically, and then he shows you the skill set on top of it. Now here's Gay. He points his last outing. Over Tatum, and again it's Utah. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Smart with the ball. Nine points last game. Here's Williams. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. McLaughlin, the pass to get. He dishes it to Ingles. One up, one down. Joe Two points Ingles. with his first shot this game. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Smart dishes to Williams. A shot missing. Gay with the defensive effort. Jazz trail by four. And Rudy Gay picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. A different look for Utah. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. And it's Jordan Clarkson in for Donovan Mitchell. For Boston, they've gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Here's Richardson. 26 points for him last game against Oklahoma City. And they kept fouling him. I mean, it only made him more aggressive. He wound up having a huge night at the free throw line. Williams for three. Good on the three-point shot. And, and off to an incredible start here early from long range. Utah's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. The pass to Clarkson. 
and he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Williams kicks to Williams. Back to Williams. Shakes over Clarkson, and it's Williams. That time the assist by Williams. And it's a nine-point Celtic lead. And don't sleep on Williams' ability to create for others. That's a veteran play. Clarkson for three. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Outside Williams. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Williams, Williams has got seven points. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Here's Clarkson. Into the lane. One of the things Clarkson does is that he's converting off the dribble Jordan drive. Clarkson. Celtics leading by nine. Good saving. Banked in off the glass. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Now, here's Clarkson. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Nets in Brooklyn. He just can't find the touch this quarter. Yeah, he's got to keep grinding, though, and looking for the best shot possible. The kick out to Williams. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And Greg at 6'5 and 200 pounds, not the most imposing frame for Josh Richardson, but he is a quality defender. Well, a lot of it is between the ears. I mean, the plus wingspan helps, but it's that competitive will that enables him to hold his own. That's good from Richardson. Well, Richardson comes from a military family. I mean, his mom was an officer in the Air Force, so he knows about discipline on and off the court. That helps a pro ball player. And Richardson drops them both. And they've clearly been the aggressors here early on, drawing fouls and working themselves to the line. To the middle. Here's Gay. Puts the move on. He takes it up and lays it in. Gay's got six points. Uh, the scoring skills of Gay aren't just limited to the mid range and his perimeter. This is a guy who can get it done from the inside as well, thanks to his fantastic length. This is to Richardson. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Clarkson outside to the paint. And that one's good by Gay. Eight points for him. Oh, and the wily athleticism of Gay helps him in these situations. Just so clever at finding ways to bury shots against defenders. Richardson outside. Nice ball movement by Boston. Fades back. And again, it's Boston converting. Defensively giving up far too many open rhythm looks. Now Clarkson, the scoring numbers have been solid for him. He's averaging just under 14 points a game. Pass to McLaughlin. Sinks the three-pointer. Punch, counter punch. Three points. Impressive offensive production early on. Yeah, this is what you love to see. Both teams going at it, working to get to their spots and cashing in. And so it's Boston with a 10-point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Well, Donovan Mitchell may get the spot, but he understands that he rises and falls with his team. At the end of the day, like, I'm here to, to play basketball and be the best teammate and best player that I can be. I'm not trying to make this about me. This is team basketball. Like, at the end of the day, we're, we're doing good things, and we just got to keep it up. 
Mitchell is well liked has a humility about him Greg despite his all-star status hasn't let the endorsements or signature shoe deal go to his head this guy sees the bigger picture and if you're just tuning in we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback when you consider how the Celtics are doing guys what jumps out to you stats wise An impressive start they came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed but yeah this is their preferred pace and, and it's gotten them out to an early lead and a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter and so in the game for the Jazz Eric Pascal out there with Rudy Gay then there's Jordan Clarkson and it's Joe Ingles and it's McLaughlin into the point guard position take a break take a break two shots that's good from Richardson and a lot of players want a voice in team strategy and I've always wondered, Greg, is there a downside for coaches letting their players get too involved? I mean, there is a belief that you can have too many cooks in the kitchen, right? But if a player knows his stuff, it's worth at least hearing them out, if only to keep those open lines of communication. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Conley scanning the floor. Here's the teardrop. Pasco kicks to Conley. Clarkson outside. Over Richardson. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Clarkson's got his second basket. Never back it down. Clarkson unafraid to shoot with a hand in his face. There's the dish to Williams. Stolen by Michael Conley. There we go, one on one. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down to six, and the bucket from Clarkson. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons, but last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. With the young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to the Well, their upside in a lot of people's view remains. David, thanks. Al Horford has checked in for the Celtics. And a switch here also for Utah. Go Bears checked in. One shot. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Clarkson against Richardson. Clarkson taking his time here. Conley finds Clarkson. Pocket six. Now here's Pascal. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. In the corner, it's Richardson. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's his third foul of the game. He's hoping to avoid a third foul before the break. Now, he might have to sit out. At least checked in for the Celtics. Smart comes in for Richardson. And a switcher also for Utah. O'Neal's checked in for Eric Paschal. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Gobert against Bradley. Shot clock at five. Here's Williams. Tries again. And no problem for Bradley as he finishes at the rim. And the Celtics lead by 11. And Kevin, they dialed up their activity this quarter. We're seeing them convert a lot of those second chance opportunities. 
Here's Conley. And the rejection by Bradley. And they pick up two. Conley's got six. And you see the confidence, even, even amongst the trees, Conley possesses a cool head. Feeds to Bradley. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Angel Conley will bring the ball up for Utah. They trail by nine points. They'll be off to Charlotte for a game against the Hornets. They're in the midst of this long six-game road trip. That will be game four. It's Williams with the drive. Here's Horford. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Ooh, that's a big boy bucket by Horford. He just used his delicate touch to spike his body by the team. And an area that's often underappreciated for Horford. He's a fantastic passer. Nothing flashy. Great vision in the post or at the top of the key. And he just keeps it moving and finds the open man. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Juan Hernan Gomez. Bogdanovich is checked in for the Jazz. Mitchell comes in for Clarkson. And that one misses. Earning more and more recognition for all the things he does. Horford's finally gone from underrated to appreciated. Now, here is O'Neal. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The baseline, J. Rebound, Boston. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Tatum passes to Williams. To the inside. That's good from Horford on the assist by Williams. Horford's got the lead up to 13 now for the Celtics. They are just killing them on the interior. Mitchell against Smart. The drive by Mitchell. And there it is for him. Mitchell's got his third basket of the night right there. And footwork really so important. Donovan threads the drive there with such grace. The feeds are Smart. Gobert with the block. And he's able to get it back. Smart kicks to Williams. And it's off the back rim. No good. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Master Conley. Back to Bogdanovich. Mitchell in the corner. A three-pointer off the mark. Austin leading by 11. Outside, smart. Gobert with the block. And that's why you want Gobert on the floor. He's as good defensively as any big you will ever see. Oh, the lob to Gobert takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And sometimes it's as simple as this. Throw it up anywhere near Gobert, and he's going to finish it. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. It's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated.
Travis Horford. Had a 24 point outing in their last game against Oklahoma City. Shot clock at six. Williams, that's for two. Boston, no good that time either. Now look, even if he had other places to go with the ball, that's a good shot. You, you can't blame Marcus him for that now. And the foul on Marcus Smart. Foul. That's foul First number two for him. Foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. O'Neal with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Oh, playing a little cornerback there. Anticipates the pass and jumps the route. Smart passes to Tatum. Gobert with the block, and they get it back. Six to shoot. Outside Tatum. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Jazz trail by nine. The pass to Bogdanovich. Good work defensively by Horford. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Williams in the post. Defended by Gobert. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. Well, he is a behemoth in the paint. Once Williams establishes himself, you almost have to foul him. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. You know, he just plays with such tenacity on both ends. Well, Williams is a rising talent who wants to prove he belongs. And Williams drops them both. We always have some tweaks to the rules every season, Chris. What do you think the league should focus on now when it comes to the next change? You know, I would hope the league would address uh, the boardroom. I hope they would address the ownership. I hope they would address uh, management. Hopefully, the league can start to look like uh, the makeup of the players that he employs uh, when you talk about uh, ownership uh, and, and things of that nature. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. You're smart. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Smart's got the lead up to 13 now for the Celtics. Mitchell outside. And Bogdanovich now top the key. Down low, taken away by Williams. Outside Tatum. And he stays with it. Tatum's teammates love and hustle. They appreciate him going hard on the offensive glass and getting it done. Mitchell against Smart. Mitchell outside. Six on the shot clock. And the officials call a traveling violation. Well, that's two really unproductive trips in a row in the internal. Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Utah also making some changes. Gay comes in for Gobert. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. Mitchell against Smart. Outside Tatum. Back to Williams. The shot misses. Some solid defense from Gay. Mitchell right side. Can they get it? And that one drops for him. Mitchell. Mitchell's got eight points. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge. And if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. Tatum, that's for two. That one a ten offline to the right, but drops in for him. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. 
Uh, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put it. Gay against Williams. Mitchell outside. I'm deep. And Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got four rebounds now tonight. O'Neal against Smart. That's a bucket. His third of the game. He shot the ball seven times. Just too physical. Smart shedding the defense and finishing strong. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And Bogdanovich kicks to Mitchell. Passes it to O'Neal. Off target from outside. Austin leading by 17. Here's Smart. 10 points for him. Now Williams. On the wing, Williams. Here's Tatum. Good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams, Williams has got four assists now tonight. Refusing to let the defender alter his shot. Tatum's focus and drive. It's what helps him finish our shot. A different look for Utah. Eric Vasco comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Joe Ingles in for Royce O'Neal. Here's McLaughlin. Guarded by Smart. On the wing, Mitchell. Fires for three. He's off on that one. So the Celtics will take it the other way. Smart against Gay. Outside Tatum. Fires the three. That's good. He's five for nine. They have ridden him today, and it has paid off in a big way. Challenging stretch here for Utah. Here's McLaughlin. Mitchell finds Gay. And counted from 19 feet away. Gay's got 12. And he has found the stroke, folks. Continues to knock down shot after shot. Perfection thus far. Here's Richardson. Drives to the hoop. Nice. Four for seven for the four with that shot. Uh, on the drive, Richardson looks unstoppable. Contact doesn't trip him up for a second. Now, here's Mitchell. He's got eight. Let's the three fly. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. So as we conclude the first half, so far, fairly one-sided. Celtics out in front, opening up a huge gap. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in it. It was good to see him go in early. And it felt good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We've seen Josh Richardson really having a great game. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the jam. That court guard set is smart in Richardson. Jason Tatum is out there with Horford. Boston and it's Bradley in at the center, walking down the middle. That's the Boston Five. Oh, the Utah. officials are all over that. First team the Jazz five. shooting their first free throws of the game. Shooting for Utah, Royce O'Neal at the line for two. Shooting two. The first free throw is good.
O'Neal hits them both. Austin leading by 20. Here's Smart. And he banks in the lane. Smart's got 12 in the game. Oh, he's getting after it offensively. Smart putting up some points. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. And here is O'Neal. Mitchell wide open. Buries it from three-point range. Mitchell. 11 points in the game. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. And they call him Spider because of that long wingspan. 6'10 at present, but standing 6'1. Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. Just five on the clock. Richardson with it. Now guarded by Bogdanovich. Oh, he found an open space for mid-range. Just maybe rushed his release a little bit. Here he goes. And the rejection by Tatum. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. On the wing, Mitchell. Richardson cover. Horford against Conley. Gobert. That's in there. Green Conley with the Gobert. assist. Conley's got three assists tonight. And we know what Mitchell can do offensively. But, Greg, how do you evaluate his defensive game? Yeah, and, Kevin, without question, there's room for improvement. I'd say he's probably below average, but he has the tools that if he tightens up that part of his game, look out. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Donovan Mitchell is a force offensively, of course, but he knows there's room for work at the other end. He said, I feel the need to really get after it defensively and show that. I watch film on every person I'm guarding. Defense travels. Offense comes and goes. Guys, back to you. He's never satisfied, and I love that about him, D.A. Thanks. Four on the clock. Here's Conley. Kicks it out to Mitchell. A three-pointer, no good. Celtics leading by 17. Tatum passes to Brant. Stolen by Mitchell. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. O'Neal against Horford. Puts it up from 12. And Boston with the rebound. Horford's got his fifth rebound in this one. Yeah, and with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Here's Conley. Fouled in the Celtics act of shooting. Fouled. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Good luck trying to stop Conley. Even when you hit him, he figures out ways to score. Shooting First trip to the free-throw line for him tonight. And he's at nearly 90% from the free-throw line this season, so having a terrific year. And Utah making a change here. Clarkson's checked in. Toughness Conley provides. I mean, it can't be underrated. He's a guy his younger teammates, uh, they really look up to. Right around three minutes into the second half. Outside Brandon. Inside, down to five on the shot clock. And the shot is good. Tatum's got 14 points. I mean, you see the strength of Tatum already. Broad shoulders and able to make shots through contact. Oh, the lob to Gobert. And slam dunk by Gobert. And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Oh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. Smart finds Bradley. There's the drive. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain Boston possession. Ball. Boston making a switch here. Hernan Gomez is checked in. And Utah also making a switch. Ingles is checked in. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. 
Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And there's the foul. Joe, It'll go on Joe Ingles. That'll be his second foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Bogdanovich against Horford. Hernan Gomez with the ball. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Richardson, no luck. And it's Utah's ball. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Mitchell dishes to Clarkson. Poked loose. And here's the fast break. Richardson leading the way. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first. And, and when Richardson is aggressive, good things Where's tend to ball? happen, including how he attracts fouls while shooting. And, and some stats here, guys. Play. The scoring breakdown Jump. for the Celtics. Richardson. Their inside game has been great tonight. So much of their scoring has come from the paint. And how about their post play? I mean, they're getting good offensive execution on the low block. And the first one at the line is good. And Richardson drops them both. Now Clarkson, he's got six. Has to go bare. Mitchell up top. Richardson cover. And go bare with the basket on the assist by Mitchell. And that's 12 points for Rudy Gobert. And it's smart with the ball for the Celtics. 22 is their biggest lead. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Shot clock at six. Here's Richardson from down in the low post. Richardson. It goes. Richardson's got 16. You gotta have serious feel for that shot. And Richardson's got that. He can be lethal with the floor. Here's Gobert, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Yeah, easy call. Third team foul. Utah shooting Shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line Three, in the game. And team free throw Taking numbers two shots. really about as good as you could ask for. Around 80% on the season. Shooting two. A free throw drops for Gobert. An improved free throw shooter compared to his earlier seasons. Nice to see Gobert attack his weakness. Robert Williams is checked in for the Celtics. Williams comes in for Smart. And Gobert drops them both. Austin leading by 14. Richardson outside. 
Here's the pass to Williams. Jacks up a three. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert's got eight rebounds in this game. Mitchell finds Ingles. Got a piece of it. Clarkson against Williams. Shoots over Clarkson, and he wills that one in, sending right through off the back iron. And when you've got Williams on your team, you get instant offense. Mitchell against Richardson. The drive by Mitchell. Oh, look at him! Fly. A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some crashy dunks up his sleeve. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Rich Robin Section wants a free t shirt. Williams is checked in for Al Horford. And Utah with a change here, too. Rudy Gay's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Williams passes to Williams. Back to Williams. Richardson against Mitchell. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Boyan Bogdanovic. He's gone 6 of 6 from the free throw line. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last out. Richardson at the line for two. That's good from Richardson. Eric Pasco, he's checked in for the Jazz. Jordan McLaughlin comes in for Mitchell. And Richardson drops them both. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. Jazz trail by 16. Clarkson outside. No good from outside. Austin's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's Richardson. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Defensive foul. It takes a lot to shake Richardson's focus. He's adept at absorbing the hit and finishing the play. Pretty much automatic tonight at the line. Eight for eight. At the line, Josh Richardson. At the line, shooting one. On the free throw, no good. And Kevin, how about his basketball journey? Taking him from Australia to Spain, then Israel, before finally landing in the NBA at age 27. Three. But Joe Ingles, boy, was well worth the wait. Celtics leading by 15. Right side, Williams. He dishes it to Richardson. Fast break, here they come. McLaughlin, the pass to Gay. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. And he grew up playing Australian rules football. And Ingles not afraid to mix it up. And early in his career, guys would look to attack him one-on-one. -on -one. 
but they learned the hard way. He's long, active, and uses anticipation about as well as anybody. Just five to shoot. Yep, that one goes in there. Richardson's got 10 points here in the second half. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's on the pitch. Clarkson passes to Ingles. And the Jazz, another three. I mean, it's time for him to take over. He's played it cool long enough. And I think he realizes that. Passes it to Richardson. And the layup's good off the cross. Richardson's got 24 points. He's putting the hammer down. Dominant quarter for him, trying to push out that lead. McLaughlin, the pass to Pascal. He feeds it to Gay. Williams with the block. A main staple in Williams' game. That sixth sense for when to rise up and deter those shots. Ingles can't get it to go. Celtics leading by 14. Williams kicks to Hernan Gomez. Pass to Williams. Celtics passing it around. Here's the floater. Two points. That one goes. Williams has got four this quarter. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Williams against Clarkson. McLaughlin, the pass to Ingles. There's three pointers off the mark. Well, you don't see that very often. A wide open three is usually like a layup for him. Left side, Williams. It's stolen by Ingles. Pass to Pascal. Here's Clarkson. Shoots the three. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. His bad night from the field is only going to get worse if he keeps throwing up shots like that. Richardson against Clarkson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Jordan Clarkson. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clear. He's been getting to the line. The now line. his sixth trip in the game. Richardson at the line for two shots. Two, two. The first one falls. Boys and Eels checked in for Clarkson. Richardson drops them both. Jazz trail by 18. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Gay finds Ingles. Over to the wing. Six to shoot. Two minutes. Gay passes to Ingles. Two minutes. Over Williams. The Jazz again can't hit it. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. A put back. They get it back. Good saving. You can't get that one. That's a shot they're always happy to get, even when he blows the finish. O'Neal passes to McLaughlin. Here's Pascal. And the rejection by Tatum. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Tatum. Marcus Smart's checked in for the Celtics. Mike Conley's checked in for Utah. To end the cold streak. No good that time. Great D that time from Tatum. Over Conley. Tatum no good. Jazz trail by 18. Down low. Gay passes to Conley. 
104 left here in the third quarter. Lock at six. And too long on the shot. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. 22 is their biggest lead. O'Neal against Richardson. Back to Tatum. Gets that one through the hole. Make him now 7 of 13 in this game. Attacking the painted area. That's where Tatum can use his height and length most effectively. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Here's McLaughlin. Guarded by Smart. And here's Conley outside. Another miss by Conley. They have been bored and dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Tatum way outside. And they recover it. Here's Smart. And he gets the bucket. Smart's got 14 points for the game. But that's the kind of effort they love to see from Smart. He's sticking his nose in there and doing some work on the offensive boards. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Celtics out in front. Running away with it. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Celtics leading by 22. Taking a look at the Jazz. Conley is the point with Mitchell as the two guard. Joe Ingles is out there with O'Neal. And it's Gay in its center. Richardson finds Tatum. And it's Royce O'Neal with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you play. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Gobert against Bradley. The drive by Mitchell. Here's Gobert. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. You like seeing Gay get this involved in the offense, especially early, just taking over and dominating whoever is on. Mitchell against Richardson. Outside Tatum. Five to shoot. Back to Richardson. Here's the three. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. The Celtics making a switch here. Horford's checked in. The switch here also for Utah. Bogdanovich is checked in. Tatum against O'Neal. Tatum passes to Bradley. Five on the clock. Here's Smart. Connects from three-point range. Showing his range. Smart spacing the field. Jazz shooting reasonably well, 45%. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's sent back by Horford. Bogdanovich against Tatum. Utah with the rebound. Gobert's got nine rebounds now tonight. Mitchell finds Conley. Nice ball movement by Utah. And here's Bogdanovich. Now the pass to Mitchell. And the foul on Josh Richardson. 
Josh That'll be his Richardson. second foul of the game. That's Greg, you've got the unique opportunity foul. right now First to watch your foul. son Cole follow in your yeah, footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter and they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. Forrest passes to Bogdanovich. Gobert trying to get open. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. And how about the fearlessness? from Bogdanovich doesn't pay the D any mind he enjoys sticking it to them there in the paint Pritchard passes to Horford over as a that one doesn't go now the Jazz take it the other way Peyton looking around oh the lob to go bear and it's sent back by Horford oh you can't be careless around Horford throw up a weak shot around him he'll send it back there's Langford, good on the 13-footer. And the jump shot has been the dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. Peyton passes to Gobert. Now, here's Bogdanovich. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And you just have to admire that aggressive nature of Bogdanovich. He's just itching to pull the trigger as soon as the ball hits his hand. Smith, the pass to Horford. It's taken away by Pete. And Bogdanovich, the bucket on the assist from Pete. And I like the commitment from Bogdanovich. Even when he gets knocked around, he stays focused on the rim. Pass to Neesmith. Outside, Horford. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. You know, Chris, no one wants to see play stop for a coach's challenge, but is that inconvenience outweighed by ensuring it was the right call? It definitely is, Kevin. Uh, you know, we'd rather get the calls right than just be quick. Quality over quickness. Uh, that's how I like to think. But, you know, definitely, you don't want those calls all the time. But, yeah, late in the game, you need it. Guys work too hard. He misses the free throw. And some changes here for the Celtics. Robert Williams is checked in for Neesman. Richardson comes in for Langford. And Smart subbed in for Pritchard. Good on the second free throw. Here is Conley. Bear. Great positioning on the putback. He's been fantastic, but he can't do it all by himself. Some of the other guys need to lighten the load and step up. Outside, smart. It's stolen by Gobert. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Ingles, and he uses the glass Joe on the lane. Ingles. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Outside, Tatum. To the paint. It's stolen by Gobert. And now running up the court. Ingles pushing it up. Here's Conley. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. The three. The rebound by the Jams. Clarkson on the wing. Richardson cover. Shots good by Clarkson. There you go. Land under control. Clarkson with the nice floater over the top. Smart dishes to Williams. Kicks it to Tatum. Smart wide open. He fires. Boston again missing. And it's Utah's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Oh, the lob to go bare. And it's sent back by Horford. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. 
That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Fourth, uh, fourth foul of the game. For He's starting to get into that danger zone. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're trying to stem the tide here. And yeah, they have to regroup it and revisit their strategy at the defensive Again, smart outside Williams. It's stolen by Gobert to the inside. Here's Bogdanovich, and it's sent back by Horford. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Horford. Now, here's Ingles. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range, and Tatum pulls it down. Tatum's got nine rebounds now tonight. Last is smart. It's Richardson on the wing. Nice ball movement by Boston. Trying to get something going. And Williams gets it to go on the assist by Richardson. Richardson's got five assists tonight. Well, yeah, high IQ basketball for Richardson. Values the easy assist over a risky shot. Clarkson passes to Gobert. He kicks to Conley. Driving to the basket. Good on the shot. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. It's Williams high post. Back to Smart. Tatum looking around. Over Gobert. Here's Williams. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The big hands Williams has, especially effective at just gobbling up misses on both ends. Mitchell is checked in for the Jazz. At the line for the Celtics, Robert Williams. At the line with one shot. And that one falls for Williams. Jazz trail by 19. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Outside Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Uncovered. And that one falls Another coming off Mitchell. Conley's feet. Conley's got five assists tonight. Oh, the floor is the general skills of Conley. I mean, he has a fantastic feel for when his teammates need the rock. And my man, that's Conley. it's close, but you know, didn't get on Side balance ball. quick enough. 15 ball. At the line. Marcus Smart at the line for two. Two, two. And that one falls for Smart.
and he can't hit the second. Jazz trail by 18. Ingles kicks to Mitchell. The pass to Conley. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Richardson. Just That's no resistance inside ball. at all. They are Second feasting. This is a straight buffet. It is. Shooting it's a big Utah. one. And load the plate. Mike Conley. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for Conley. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. This is it to Richardson. Now here is Horford. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Horford gets the bucket. He's never easy to stop Horford. I mean, mainly because he's so strong and able to shrug off the deep. And here is Conley. Here's Mitchell. Again, the Jazz score. Then Mitchell, he doesn't play around. If the buck is there for him, he's going to get it. Smart with the ball. Outside Williams. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Conley, the pass to Bogdanovich. Good work defensively by Richardson. Austin leading by 15. To the middle. Here's Smart. Rebound, Utah. Go Bears got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort to the paint. Bogdanovich finds Ingles. Ball's knocked loose. Mitchell in the corner. Shot clock at five. Over Horford. And it's Mitchell missing. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Bounce pass from Smart. Tatum against Bogdanovich. Go Bear with the block. And he recovers it. That one go. He's counted. And the Celtics lead by 17. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Gobert dishes to Ingles. Here's Conley driving inside. Good work defensively by Horford. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. Utah ball. The Jazz is making a switch here. O'Neal's checked in. O'Neal. Jazz trail by 17. There's 138 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Bogdanovich against Horford. Another miss by Utah. The Celtics have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Celtics. We got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one that got it done. High scoring game. Bucket after bucket. They were really in attack mode all game long. And so taking a look at their season record, this will be win number 31 on the year. And you know, this is a win they wanted badly, guys. They did not want to get swept in the season series. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight. For Josh Richardson. No fatigue in this fella tonight. Tireless. Grinding out every possession and leading their offense. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. And that's why they're in the driver's seat right now. Looking to put this one away. Mitchell passes to O'Neal. Over Tatum. O'Neal misses. 
This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Conley against Smart. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans <laughs> appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Marcus. It is obvious you never mind sacrificing your body to make the big play. How do you lay it on the line physically? Um, just really, you know, uh, influence my teammates. You know, I lead by example. You know, they see the energy I bring, and I just hope it rubs off on those guys. It certainly did tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you later.